Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at your PlayStation 4 original and reasons why the on-off switch may not work. If you want to head over, hit the subscribe button and we get straight on with it. Okay guys, so we've got the original PlayStation 4 here and I'm assuming that when you press the eject button you can hear the eject beep, but when you press the on-off button you get absolutely nothing. You may even be able to turn your console on with your controller, but when you use the button here, absolutely nothing. I'm assuming your power supply is working, so if your console boots up fine from the controller, then you know that the console is actually okay, it's not the power supply. If the console switches on and switches off after a couple of seconds, then you need to look at the power supply. See one of my other videos for that. But today we're gonna to concentrate on the power button. So what we want to do is, first of all, remove the hard drive cover. Next we want to remove these two screws here using a Torx T8 screwdriver. It's a security Torx. You can get them from a link underneath this video. Let's remove these screws. Turn the console over. Of the top cover we want to remove this Torx 8 screwdriver here as well. Now we've removed the screws for this top cover, we want to lift it up from the front here carefully and also from the back here, pull it up and we want to remove this top cover, carefully does it. You may want to get a flathead screwdriver in at the back here just to ease it open. And that's the top cover off. So this is the on off switch here, this surface mounted switch here. You want to make sure first of all that it's clean from any dust. If there is any dust on here, this will stop the on off button from working. So that could be a problem. So give it a good clean and then you can put the lid back on and see if it's working. So that's the first thing to check. You could even plug your console in at this point, put your finger on the on-off switch here and if you can hear it beeping you know that the console's working okay and the on-off switch is also working okay. There's the beep of the button, we know the on-off switch is actually working. So now we've established that the on-off button is working but we still can't get the on-off button to activate the switch underneath, we need to have a look at this top cover here. So we're just going to put the console aside for a second. Now if we take this top cover, we can see that this is the on off switch here. It doesn't move much when you push it. If we turn it upside down, that touches the surface mounted on off switch, we want to make sure that this bit of metal here is sticking up like this. If this is missing at all, then it's never going to work. So look for this, make sure it's in place, make sure that this piece of metal here is slightly up in this position here, in that shape. If it is, you should be good to go. 